Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Capricorn. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of June, but I ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. So for your cards, Capricorn, I will be using the Mystical Manga Tarot by Ran and Barbara Moore. For your person, I will be using the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano. And if clarifiers are needed, the Manga Tarot by Selena Lin. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for Capricorn? What is Capricorn thinking overall about this connection? What are some things that are going on in the daily life? What's going on in the daily life could be affecting the connection. What is happening in the heart space? How do they feel? How do they feel about their person? What intentions? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome? What is a potential outcome? In the near future, for whenever you are meant to hear this message, wow, Capricorn, you got some major arcana here, some very decisive, even spontaneous moves, it looks like, on your part, and it's leading to something good. We got the Knight of Cups in the bottom of the deck here for your person just getting started. There are definitely romantic feelings here. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for the person connected to or coming towards Capricorn? Oh, oh my goodness. That whole bunch just tried to jump out. Okay. What is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? What are some things going on in their daily life? Could be affecting the connection. What is happening in their heart space? How are they feeling about Capricorn? How are they feeling about Capricorn? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this reading? Wow. Interesting here. I always look at the deck when I go to set it down. And we have the Emperor with the King of Cups kind of peeking out as well. Very interesting that on the bottom of the deck, Emperor Energy, which is the energy of the kind of person that could really be the one. Um, King of Cups here is very romantic. And we saw the Knight of Cups. All these things were like in the deck. They didn't jump out. So, and those ha all have a lot to do with feelings and emotions. I have a sense that this person has a, possibly a lot more like stronger feelings that you, than you know, but they're kind of tucking them in and it looks overall that they're definitely more interested than you think, but they're, they're also trying to come towards you in maybe more of a lighthearted, like, like subtle way, but we'll see. We'll see what unfolds. For the heart of the matter, you do have the Queen of Cups. Cancer energy could be significant here, strong in your chart or your person's, but this is somebody whose heart is open. Somebody who really is genuinely ready to love and be loved. Somebody who could be falling for someone. Um, and can also be love coming towards you. This is an open heart, like this is an open heart chakra. The Queen of Cups is very psychic, very intuitive. When you get this energy, your intuition can be very much on point, but it's a moment that you really are truly feeling like I could go for this. I. I want to see where this can go. I, I know that I have feelings for this person. And it's clear that maybe not everything has been fully communicated here, but the attraction the two of you have for each other is very strong. And the heart of the matter for your person is the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. And when I get Hierophant in the... Um, in a love reading, I really see commitment. I see someone that wants to do right by you. I see someone who takes a connection very seriously. Now, if this is someone you've just newly met, 
you might not know that they are looking for something more serious because I do feel like there's a little bit of like lighthearted energy and how this person is coming towards you. But with the hair font, it is somebody who wants to do the right thing. That is genuinely looking for someone that they can have like a commitment with, something more long term. And they're looking at you feeling like that could be the case. And I asked for a clarifier. Whoa, so many tried to come out. Okay. But we have the Two of Cups. So with the Hierophant and the Two of Cups, there's definitely an energy of what you're feeling for this person. They're feeling for you. No matter what your situation is, and when I sit down for a, read, a reading, I know a lot of different people are watching these, and I ask Divine, connect specifically with every person who's going to watch it, give them something that they need, even if this is somebody you haven't met yet, even if this is somebody you have met, but it's new, somebody that you do already have a strong, powerful connection to, whatever the situation is, I ask the reading resonate where you're at, and here, these are kind of intense cards with the Hierophant and the Two of Cups because it can be an energy of falling in love, maybe even talking about like engagement, marriage, that sort of thing. But it's interesting because your person is kind of leading with this and yet there is this, this other energy around this that is also like friendship and spontaneous. So I do feel like they could be keeping some of these deeper feelings under wrap, but it's definitely all coming up. For your daily life, you've got the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and O oh, Cancer as well with that Two of Cups. A new way of thinking, a new way of seeing things. The Ace of Swords is so powerful because this is you taking, um, really taking your time to decide what it is that you want, what it is you want to focus on. The Ace of Swords is a new beginning in thought. It's clearing out old things. It's releasing things that don't feel right, things that don't excite you, things that don't lift you up. And it's making your choices, very decisive choices around what it is you truly want to experience. And here it is in life and love, because some of you could even be having like a new job or move or meeting someone new kind of like that with this showing up in your daily life but swords really are about thoughts and it's thinking in a new way, seeing things in a new way. You may have done some major clearing out, maybe some spring cleaning, um, you know, just in different areas of your life, um, communicating what it is you want and don't want, could maybe even done a little um, house cleaning um, in your house, on social media, things like that. But it's an energy of clearing, like clearing the things that don't match your current vibration. And it's interesting because it is very much creating a shift, a positive shift in this connection and drawing someone towards you that genuinely wants to see you and is excited about you. In their daily life, they have the 10 of wands. Sagittarius energy could be significant, but this is definitely somebody who could be working a little too much, burning the candle at both ends, you know, wanting maybe to wrap up a big project, um, having a lot on their plate, a lot of responsibilities. This can be the end of a burdensome cycle. It can also be the energy of somebody who maybe feels like they're carrying a lot of the feelings here. Like maybe they're the one that, you know, the, the person, um, the other person could be thinking, oh, I'm the one that, you know, is feeling this way and I don't know how Capricorn is feeling and I'm carrying all this kind of like that energy but since it's in the daily life I'm really getting a sense oh my goodness that there's a lot of mirroring energy here I feel like you two are picking up on each other's energy more than you even realize um we have the ten of wands um and I was gonna say um, since it's in the daily life, it really could can be just somebody like working a lot or working too much. We have it clarified by the Four of Pentacles, and it's interesting that the Four of Pentacles is sitting right next to the Four of Pentacles here. Now, this is Capricorn energy, and the Four of Pentacles can be like a very positive card because it can be about stability, security. It can be like a promotion, something happening in your work. It can even be like buying a home, things like that, something that really have to do with stability. But sometimes it's about holding on to too tight to something because you're you're afraid because you're afraid that you know there isn't going to be more and so sometimes it can be like settling for you know 
um, maybe a certain state in a relationship that you're not really happy with, but maybe like afraid to ask for more, maybe afraid to release something or express, you know, what you truly need because you're like, well, things are okay the way they are. And I'm not sure I don't want to rock the boat or shake it up, you know, but whatever the situation is, and like I said, it'll be different for all of you. The two of you are holding on to each other. Like, even if you aren't, um, communicating and some of you are some of you some of you aren't as much some of you are talking a lot um but even if you aren't the two of you hold on to one another you think about one another there's a place that you hold in your heart for each other that it doesn't seem like there there really is anyone else that either of you really genuinely want when it all comes down to it it's like you both have your mind and heart set on one another it just feels like there's a little bit of some sort of some sort of challenge and it could basically i mean it could be that this person is working Working too much for that ten of wands and the four of pentacles or prioritizing their physical security over their emotional which can happen um but capricorn energy strong there in your heart space you have the ace of pentacles i love all these aces now some of you here in june could be um having a brand new beginning a new beginning with someone that you're already connected to or meeting someone completely new it's going to be different for each of you but this ace of pentacles is the cornerstone of the ten of pentacles it is a feeling that can grow into so much more it is something that feels positive something that feels new and it is you you wanting to put the time and the energy if you don't have a connection that you really are feeling right now like this is what I want to put my time and energy in for some of you it's putting that time and energy and self-love into yourself that is drawing something or someone towards you in a very positive way but it is a new beginning and it is things manifesting out of the thought out of the motion emotions and into the physical plane in a very positive way Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here in your person's heart we've got the strength card and it's interesting because we do have the strength card showing up for you so as i said we have a couple mirroring energies and we'll talk about them as they show up on both sides but the strength card in their heart space strong leo energy could be significant here summertime could also be very significant for some of you you could have some special summer plans or be hoping to see someone or meet up with someone that's not everyone but if i feel guided to say that i definitely will say that with the strength card in the heart space this is major arcana and this person led in with major arcana with what they're thinking overall about the connection which makes me feel like this is all much more significant for them than you may even know but there's something about them working up the strength the strength card is all about learning to listen to your heart and then take those brave steps to follow what your heart is telling you it's like aligning it's not fighting your emotions and feelings or letting them overwhelm you it's learning to let them guide you and I feel like this person is being guided like right towards you you. I'm going to go ahead and get a um, clarifier for both your heart space. I want to see what this new beginning is for you, Capricorn, and I want to see what this person is trying to get their strength up about. So why do we have the Ace of Coins here for Capricorn? Wow. Oh my gosh, there's so much mirroring in this connection. Some of you could be dealing with a strong soulmate, even twin flame. Not everyone resonates with that, but um, I'm going to count up. I think there's at least four mirroring cards, which is a powerful sign of two souls that are psychically communicating. So why do we have the strength card spirit? What, whoa, what is this person working on their strength about? Okay, need a few, jump out. Let me see if I'm meant to take them all. Yes, okay. Um, we have the chariot. This is so obvious, so interesting. Um, I don't know if these cards are so cute. This is my first time using them. They were a gift from um, someone who, has um um who found me on youtube originally so it's fun to it's fun to be getting to know these cards in the heart space they have the strength card clarified by the ten of wands the chariot and the six of wands it's very clear to me that this person has been carrying a lot of weight a lot of responsibilities it is the end of a burdensome cycle this is somebody who feels like they're almost home home feels like they've almost made it i do feel like this person carries their feelings for you they may have even for some not all of course um have carried it for a long time and maybe not fully communicated it but now it's like they're working up the strength 
strength to end an old cycle, to wrap up something they're working on so that they can have the chariot and the six of wands. We have Sagittarius energy with that 10 of wands, Leo here and cancer energy with the chariot. Lots of summery energy, warm energy, but this is definitely someone working up the strength to move forward, to make things happen. The chariot energy is a very healing energy. It is once again, um, forward, forward movement from your heart. And this with the chariot for me is kind of like taking those brave first steps, just being really passionate and saying, let's go, let's do something. And the strength card is to continue to follow your heart. And um, with the six of wands, this is somebody who is in the traditional tarot, like coming home to their hometown after a battle and they're being welcomed. It's success, it's a parade, it's, you know, really exciting energy. And what I really feel Feel like this person is kind of wanting to wrap up some sort of old cycle um, and then take some really positive steps towards you and is very much hoping to be welcomed and successful in this next move towards you once again more a major arcana here so this is this this is heavy on this person's mind like it is strong in their mind your intentions you have the four of pentacles you might not be wanting to um, even though there's a lot of feelings here. Oh, I have to talk about the clarifier for your heart space. We'll come back to that. Um, there's a lot of feeling here, but you could be sitting with this, looking at it and maybe deciding what to do. This is definitely someone that you hold in your heart, but you could be... Um, thinking, you know, I have these feelings, but I'm also taking some initiative in some areas of my life. I'm kind of going to watch and see a little bit, see what happens. I do see some bold moves here, um, honestly coming from both sides, but I do feel like both of you are kind of sitting with this energy of holding on to one another. And some of you could even both be waiting for the other person to, to take a step. Obviously it's not everyone. Um, in your heart space, we have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is about to show up in your person's cards. And that's why I said we have one, two, three, four. Wow. Four mirroring cards between your cards and theirs and a Two of Cups, which is what you're feeling for one another. You both feel that those four mirroring cards, it's an 1111 energy. Maybe you've been seeing um angel numbers, things like that, but something does feel very significant about this, about this reading. So with the Ace of, Cup, um, Ace of Cups, that's funny, I, I had the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck when I started, so there is something to that. Um, Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, a first step, a new beginning can shift everything in a very positive direction. There's a lot of forward movement. This is a lucky break. I do have to say, these are love readings, but with the Ace of Pentacles sitting here with the Wheel of Fortune, some of you could have a windfall. I mean, some of you could have some really good news financially, which is always great. And very often a sign of, you know, how you're feeling about yourself and your life. And when things move forward, they tend to move forward across the board, like, love, health, happiness, you know, finance, all of that tends to all come from the same place. And it feels like you are getting very clear about some things and something that maybe is just a tentative new beginning is moving forward in a positive way. And I feel like with that wheel of fortune in your heart space, like you're ready for this. So I'm going to get a clarifier to see what this four of pentacles is all about. So it's very clear that you're interested, you're ready for this forward momentum. So what is this four of pentacles energy? Oh, Oh my gosh. Okay, the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy could be significant here. Capricorn, some of you could be holding holding out until someone comes in, like all in, evenly. Somebody who is ready to have that equal give and take. Sorry about that. I usually turn those off. Give me one second. <laughs> Although I always, always turn off my phone and sometimes when I hear a little ding in a reading and I realize I've forgotten, it is a sign that messages are coming in and I feel like there's something here, Capricorn, that you hold on to this person, but it's like I don't see you making a huge move until you are sure this person is going to come all in. And I was just about to say somebody that like when you text them, they text you back kind of energy or somebody who will text you first, like that kind of energy, not somebody who leaves you sitting and waiting and one 
surrendering. Like we all deserve somebody who puts in the energy. So you could be holding out until this particular person, you know, puts in this energy, or you could be holding out for someone who really shows up in that way. Whatever the case is, this is leading to a big positive change because all your final outcome cards are major arcana. This, you know, if it's healthy boundaries or whatever it is, it is leading to very positive energy. Um, your person and their intention says the Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles in your heart, Ace of Pentacles and their intentions here. Um, I do feel like you both want to take steps forward. Once again, it's a cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. It's a new beginning that can lead to something lasting, something very positive. I do feel like this is somebody wanting to make an offer, somebody who really is very interested in you, wanting to see you, wanting to talk to you. The Pentacles for me are all about the, you know, the physical things, you know, moving from beyond thinking about each other or just dreaming about each other or maybe just like only texting to really taking steps to talk to maybe FaceTime see each other if you're long distance or take the steps to get together and meet up and I feel like that's the energy of what this person is hoping for here so in your potential outcome we have the strength card the fool card the magician um Oh, and I didn't mention with the Wheel of Fortune for me as a reader, I get a lot of strong Sagittarius, um, Leo, Aries, and Aquarius for me as a, reading, as a reader, and the Magician, Aries, and Gemini could be significant. But all of these cards to me kind of come together as you taking some extremely positive initiative in your life, maybe even making a big spontaneous move, but clearly from the heart. Some of you know it is time to release some things that have been working, get a new way of thinking, a new way of seeing, and take a leap from your heart in a completely new direction, not knowing where it's going to be leading. Some of you, it means releasing. Some of you, it means getting you know really clear about what it is you want and making a bold move, taking a step forward, doing or saying something that maybe you haven't said before. But with the strength card, this is the energy of knowing you know um, that... Your emotions, they are not a weakness. They are a strength. They are a guide. It's the whole energy of not letting ourselves be overpowered or run by our feelings, but listening and paying attention to our feelings and letting them guide our steps. Because when something feels right, it's right. If something feels wrong, it's wrong. We, It's like we have this energy in our center, especially you with this beautiful intuitive Queen of Cups energy crowning this. If something gets you excited, you know, it's worth taking taking a look at it. And with the full energy and the magician, this is, I mean, this is like brand new beginnings. Some of you, like I said, could be meeting somebody completely new. Some of you could be having a beautiful, fresh start with somebody that you care very, very deeply about with that queen of cups. But whatever the case is, this is you deciding what it is that you really want. Thinking about that, focusing on that, and then waiting until you feel really good, really excited, really sure, and then taking a leap, a spontaneous, intuitive, guided, positive leap towards whatever you are most excited about and watching beautiful things unfold because you listen to your heart. Like that's the energy. Um, your person we have a Wheel of Fortune, a Three of Cups, and the Knight of Wands here. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in your heart space, one of the several cards that is mirrored here. There is something that is shifting in a big way for you in this connection or with someone that is coming towards you, a new opportunity. The two of you could be deciding to meet up, travel towards one another. This person definitely wants to see you, wants to make something happen. But you know how I said at the very beginning, and it's because I could see the whole spread at once, that this person has the hair font and the two of cups like this could be somebody thinking about real commitment somebody really hoping for a relationship they're coming forward with this three of cups and knight of wands energy which is the energy of friendship lightheartedness and passion and excitement so i feel like there are deep feelings here but this person could come forward and be like you know in a more lighthearted way with the three of cups it's all about getting together you know seeing people seeing people in like a lighthearted environment um maybe you know going out with a group of friends or maybe just hey let's get together and talk and it's it's not necessarily like hey let's go on a big 
fancy day. I want to propose. Like it's the energy of let's get together, have some fun and see what can happen. And with the Knight of Wands, Leo energy here, Three of Cups, Cancer energy can be significant. This is somebody who's passionate about you. They're attracted to you. They're drawn to you. They definitely want to take some sort of action and see where it can go. But it's definitely like a curiosity. Like this person still wants to find out. They might even come towards you more in an energy of like, um, of like friendship that let's see where it can go. But there's some deeper feelings here. So let's go ahead and see. I'm going to get a clarifier for each of these for the Wheel of Fortune, what it is this person is hoping for. With the Three of Cups. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. And the Knight of Wands. Wow. Just um, temperance card on the bottom of the deck. Definitely being guided by divine. More Sagittarius energy. Some of you could definitely be dealing with Sagittarius here. Um, but this is the two of cups in the hands of divine. There is something about you, this connection, or someone coming towards you that has definitely been guided. We have this wheel of fortune with the three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Somebody who does want to put in the time and energy. And I feel like you're holding out for that. Like it's got to be somebody who's going to come all in. And I get that. Like I'm huge about that. Um, that equal give and take in a relationship is so important. Um, somebody wanting to come in, definitely wanting to see you face to face. Now, we have the three of cups clarified by a ten of pentacles. So it's just as I was wondering, because you all know, if you watch YouTube readings, like the three of cups has all kinds of crazy things that people say about it. Like, oh, it's a third party or it's like three's crowd, all this, you know, that can be if it's sitting there with some really challenging negative cards, absolutely, and I'll say it. You'll see it in my readings. But the traditional meaning of the Three of Cups is a celebration. It's friendship. It's creative new beginnings. It's, um, it's your soul family. And I was very curious about how we could come in with this, you know, very strong hair font and Two of Cups, which is all about commitment and relationships, and then have somebody coming with this Three of Cups and like kind of Knight of Wands energy. Well, we do have the Ten of Pentacles sitting here. Virgo energy could be significant, but this is a lasting connection. So if somebody comes in, I do feel like they want like fun, lighthearted, positive energy with you. I feel like they want to have a good time, but I feel like that good time could definitely lead to something more serious and you've got to trust your intuition on that because if somebody comes in and all they want is a good time and you're looking for this equal give and take you've got to be aware you've got to look out for yourself in that sense but we do have the knight of wands clarified by the two of wands aries energy could be significant here but this person is definitely making a move taking some sort of action because they do feel like you are their match and they are hoping for a partnership so that is the message that I have for you. I do hope you all find it helpful. If you like the reading, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading, my website is charitygenice.com and I have a lot of different personal reading options. I would love to hear from you all. Thank you so much.